war for Taiwan is brewing, as China's military ambitions surge, can the world turn back the tide? Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by Daily Peanut. The news can be a tough pill to swallow, especially when it's about war. But that's why you'll love Daily Peanut, which gives you the news each day in small doses. Part humor, part substance. So, Taiwan is preparing for war against China. I mean, it should. The Chinese Communist Party has vowed to conquer Taiwan. Chinese jets have been harassing Taiwan constantly. In mid-June, China sent a record 28 fighter jets toward Taiwan. And recently, China deployed stealth fighter jets to their military units that monitor the Taiwan Strait. That deployment was announced on Chinese state-run media, which seems kind of counterproductive, since they're supposed to be stealth jets. Look at how stealthy our jets are. Here's exactly where we're sending them. <laughs> But the Chinese military's increasing incursions on Taiwan's airspace have put a tremendous strain on the Taiwanese military as well as the Taiwanese people. Now, in an interview with CNN, Taiwan's Foreign Minister Joseph Wu says Taiwan is preparing for war. So we need to prepare ourselves for a possible conflict. A war between Taiwan and China is in nobody's interest. At the time when China is trying to expand its authoritarian influence, Taiwan is on the front line. China's expanding authoritarian influence is exactly why the U.S. has been increasing support for Taiwan. That's true of both the Trump and Biden administrations, and that tells you something. Recently, the U.S. and Taiwan agreed to hold regular talks on issues ranging from technology supply chains to meat imports, following their first trade and investment framework agreement meeting in five years. And Taiwan is pushing for a free trade deal with the U.S. Obviously, the Chinese Communist Party is not happy about any of this. It interferes with their plan to make Taiwan completely dependent on China economically. Actually, that's pretty much their plan for the rest of the world, too. Anyway, the Communist Party has particularly been targeting Taiwan's foreign minister, Joseph Wu. Party member Zhu Fenglian, who is a spokeswoman for China's Taiwan Affairs Office, said Joseph Wu has repeatedly and arrogantly provoked Taiwan independence. We will take all necessary measures to severely punish such Taiwan independence diehards for life in accordance with the law. Taiwan independence? Taiwan is independent. That's why it's not under communist control. As for the threats, Minister Wu has this to say. They cannot tolerate truth. And if they continue to say that they want to pursue me for the rest of my life, I don't really, uh, I'm not really concerned about that. So for that, I think it's an honor to be targeted by the Chinese government. I like this guy. A Chinese communist occupation of Taiwan would be a disaster for the Taiwanese people. Look at what's happened to Hong Kong. And Hong Kong was never even a fully independent democracy. To transform the democratic Taiwan into part of the authoritarian PRC would be brutal. Which is why many countries are concerned about Taiwan. Japan's deputy defense minister says Taiwan must be protected as a democratic country. And yes, he called Taiwan the C word, country. He also said the world needs to wake up to China's threat to Taiwan. China responded by saying his comments were highly sinister, dangerous, and irresponsible. What's really sinister and dangerous is the Communist Party's military ambitions in the South China Sea. All of China's neighbors are worried. Chinese warplanes have skirted Malaysia, aimed at showing dominance. Indonesia and the U.S. are building a multi-million dollar maritime training center together to counter China. And the U.S. State Department just approved a multi-billion dollar arms deal with the Philippines, the biggest one yet. And that's specifically to enhance the Philippines' minimum deterrence capability 
as it grapples with an ever more assertive China in its adjacent waters. Meanwhile, the USS Ronald Reagan has entered the South China Sea for routine freedom of navigation operations. This does not necessarily mean war will happen. If a strong deterrence can be maintained, that's actually the best hope we have of preventing the Chinese regime from starting a war against Taiwan or in the South China Sea. But that all depends on whether the world truly wakes up to the threat of the Chinese Communist Party. And this episode is sponsored by Daily Peanut. I know you like following the news. And Daily Peanut gives you interesting news stories to read every day. They're fast, timely, and entertaining. Just subscribe to their email newsletter. It's free. And you can read it on your phone, computer, or tablet. It's a great way to filter out the noise and learn more about world news that matters. There's more than a quarter million other readers already, so join for free. Click the link to Daily Peanut in the description below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.